Hi there, I'm Rebecca from uh, Rebecca Door Photography Studios in Burbage and today we are at the beautiful Burbage Common Woods where we have two models with us and we are going to be uh, using the natural sunlight uh, out here and then going back to the studio where we'll put to the test the eye footage lights uh, to see if we can uh, recreate the, the sunlight with the, with the studio lights. Outside here, we're just going to be using the like natural light, so there's no, going to be no lighting, so it's going to be quite simple, just basic. Whoever wants to go first. Yes. <laughs> okay, so just um, step a little bit further back. Okay, so yeah, just kind of like slightly side on. Uh, just lift your chin up slightly. Okay, so may maybe just have like one hand slightly on the hip, just like bending, that's it. Super. And then just look up as if you were looking to the light, so you just, that's it. Uh, not that far, down a bit, down a little bit. That's popped a right load of light in there, Dave. We've finished doing the, uh, the shots now. We used the, uh, the diffuser with a pop-up uh, bit of light just to stop the harsh sunlight from uh, coming down and causing uh, shadows onto the face uh, when uh, the, the diffusers were, were in place and, and like blocking the sun out. It created a, a much softer look uh, for the image. Uh, against with the different lenses that we use to uh, put the uh, background out of focus. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, we've finished here now and we are heading back to the studio to see the results. Okay, so we're going to be trying out the uh, 220, 320 and 60DN eye footage lights where we're going to be posing the models and recreating the light from the, uh, from the sunlight. Um, we're going to be setting up the soft boxes and uh, posing the models in different positions to uh, recreate the light. Hi guys, we're back in the studio now and we are going to replicate the lighting from the sunlight with the eye footage lights using our models. We have a 220 light here, 320DN and the 60DN. So let's see what we can get. So I had the, um, the 220 on 50%. I'll just have this on about 80 just to, to start with and then we'll just have a play. Yeah, well, I think we'll put the uh, backlight onto the background because mm -hmm. at the moment it's yeah. pointing on the subject. So we want to like make the uh, background slightly lighter so we're going to use the 60DN on the background. So 60DN's on 100% uh, power. We've got the 320 on 100% power and the fill light of the 220 on 50% power. And we've got the camera settings set as to the same as the sunlight uh, that we had outside. That's, that's it, it, yeah. Slightly <laughs> over to the side that way. A little bit more side on. Slight, yep, that's it. Perfect. Just hold it there. Hold it there. So now we're going to uh, do some more shots with Alicia in the studio. We've got the same lighting setup that we had with Chloe, but we're going to use the same settings that we used in the common uh, for Alicia's shots to recreate the uh, studio lighting to match with the sunlight. Okay, lovely. And then just try one looking up to the light, just looking up to the, uh, this light, the, this one, that's it. Finally, I'm able to replicate the lighting on my exterior shots in my studio perfectly, bringing the outside light inside is, I guess, revolutionary, and they're so easy to set up and control. I can see how they're going to really impact positively on my workflows and give me a whole load more creative options. Okay, guys, that's it. We've finished shooting for today and uh, I would highly recommend eye footage anglefish lights for indoor studio use and we can't wait to see the results from today. That's a wrap.